Yeah, my name is Pete Lagerway, and I'm with Tool Design Group. I'm the office director for the Seattle office. Uh, Tool Design Group is a planning engineering firm that just focuses on bicycling and walking. And so uh, we have nine offices around the country. Uh, we are headquartered in Washington, D.C. So we also do a lot of the research related to bicycling and walking, and we're involved in writing a lot of the national guidance. Uh, right now we're writing the new AASHTO guide, the AASHTO bike guide, which will be out in 2017. And um, this is really going to represent the latest and best thinking, uh, representing both what we know from research, but also representing what we know from what's been done in the Netherlands and other countries. So we, we hope to have the uh, best bike guide uh, around, if you will. So Boyce is going to get a cycle track. Mm -hmm. What does that mean and what's in store for Boyce? Sure. Well, a cycle track is, it can be a one-way or a two-way, and what's being proposed here is a two-way cycle track. And a cycle track is different than a path in that it's exclusive for bicyclists. So if you want to sort of think of it as you would have a sidewalk and then the cycle track and then the, and then the roadway itself where the motor vehicles are. A cycle track probably does three different things. One is from a, a use point of view. We know that most people uh, have some fear of motor vehicle traffic. And the nice thing about a cycle track is it provides some separation between motorist and the bicyclist. So we find that we get a very good public response in terms of more people bicycling more often. A couple other things that I think are really important. Uh, first and foremost, of course, is safety. And we know that if we design it right, we're going to reduce the number of crashes involving bicyclists. So one of the things that we would focus on is really not just putting in the cycle track, but doing it correctly and getting all the details right. Uh, second advantage of the cycle track will be connectivity. And so you'd be able to get on the cycle track uh, around the St. Louis, Luke's campus. And then from there, you would be able to access other bike lanes and other bike facilities uh, in the area. So a lot of advantage for connectivity. And then the third one is, uh, and not to be overlooked at all, is just the aesthetic. Um, this is going to be a what we call a double loaded uh, cycle track. So it'll be trees on both sides of it, and you're really going to get a greenway effect. So we would anticipate a lot of people just in the neighborhood, from around the area, just visiting the hospital, would just walk it or bike it, uh, use it in that way as well. So we think there's a lot of advantages. How unique is this? Well, uh, Boise's going to have this. How many other communities have something like this? Yeah, there's, there's probably, at least that I'm aware of, uh, six or seven cities that have done quite a bit of it. Uh, there's probably another dozen cities that have, you know, tried it once. They're doing a pilot, that kind of a thing. Um, but, yeah, there's a half a dozen cities probably around the country that are... What are some that in the Northwest, perhaps? Sure. Uh, obviously, the city of Seattle has put in a lot of these facilities. The city of Portland has put in a fair number of them. Um, you're going to see some down in California, uh, Bay Area, uh, some of the towns around there. Okay. Thank you.